What's going on guys? It is Michael from GPRisers.com and today in the mining bunker we are going to assemble a second RX 6600 XT rig. Now we have 11 of them in. Um, we will be getting some more in so I'm going to go ahead and start on it get 11 of them on and plop on the 12th one when we get it in. The reason why we're kind of uh, buying a good amount of these is they're relatively easy to get and they're on the lower end uh, for the price. And when you actually break down the mega hash per watt, um, they're great. So as you can see um, on this PDU, we have our single 6600 XT rig and our network switch that is up there. The network switch uses only a couple of watts, but if you look here, let me just turn on the screen. We're using 0.99 kilowatts, so about 1000 watts for this single RX 6600 XT rig. And that includes obviously the 12 cards and the system idle. So we will be building this one out and uh, it will be consuming another thousand watts once we have that 12th card on there, which means on this single rack and this single PDU, we can actually have five 12 card 6600 XT rigs and still have about 800 watts to play with. So coming real soon, uh, we are going to be building a rig that is, this is the NVIDIA one. We will be building a 12 card rig of the RX 6600 non XTs. Now these are very low powered cards. Um, I believe they get 28 and a half mega hash, but they are extremely low wattage. So we're gonna build a 12 card one of those. Um, actually in a video very soon, I am gonna be pulling these cards off and I'm going to be adding in a RX 6800 XT. Now we just got this in, we have another one on the way. And from my understanding, these cards are uh, very similar to RTX 3060 Ti, RTX 3070 non LHRs. I think a little more on the wattage side, but you get a little more mega hash. Honestly, I'm not an expert on them. Um, but we will become an expert on them hopefully sometime soon. Additionally, we do have our three 3090s that we still got to get up. We have three RTX 3070 Ti's to get up. So you can see right here, uh, we have two 1600 watt EVGA uh, power supplies. These are the P plus editions. You can see right there, they are platinum rated. So we will be utilizing those in the very near future, but I'm not going to go uh, super in depth on these videos. I know I've been making them super long. I ramble a ton. What I will do though, is I'll take all the cards out and show you guys the different models. Um, I'm sure uh, most of you guys have seen it. We already saw, I think the XFX, the uh, Red Devil and the Gigabyte. However, the Asus Duel and these two, I believe, Power Color Hellhounds, um, we'll take out and show you guys some differences. And for this build, I'm not gonna go, again, super in depth on everything. We are using a 1600 watt G Plus by EVGA. Um, these are the cables for it. This was a B stock power supply. Uh, we'll post a link down in the description below where you can see what is available for the EVGA uh, B-Stock. What I do is I check it, you know, about every other day, see if there's any 1300 or 1600 watt power supplies and I nab them up. Other than that, uh, we will be using MX4 uh, thermal compound for the CPU. Our CPU is a G4400T by Intel. That is the LGA 1151 socket. We have ballistics, eight gigabytes of RAM, DDR4. We have our generic 12 GPU mining motherboard. We have a uh, just generic Intel CPU cooler. These, these are the ones that came with these used processors. I cleaned them up. Um, and we will be using our 64 gigabyte GPRisers.com SSD boot drive. Additionally, we are gonna go ahead and use our new four capacitor uh, black risers. These are a refresh of our old design. Our old design used to have our website down there, but um, we get this from the same supplier now as our eight capacitor risers. It does feature also on the one X chip down here. We have our red LED on these models as well now. So we decided it's a white frame. So we'll use uh, some black risers on it. We used white risers on the black frame. We will, however, still use our white 18 AWG uh, splitter cables here. And we probably are going to be using quite a lot of these. Um, I wanna say, since we are going to chain a couple of them together to power risers, we'll probably be using about 12 uh, total splitter cables, but I'll confirm that at the end of this video. All right, guys, I'm gonna get everything put onto the rig. I'm gonna install everything um, and I'm gonna switch back and I'll have all these taken out for you guys 
and we can go over the differences between the models real quick and then I'll start putting them onto the rig. All right, guys, we have all of our cards out, all 11 of them. I got everything put onto the rig. Uh, we have all the power cables out. I do need to add some splitters to all of those eight pins. Uh, we have the processor installed. I did go ahead and boot it up, made sure everything's working. Um, so now we are going to start installing our 6600 XTs. Now on this rig, we do have um, a bunch of these XFX ones. Uh, these are three card fans, as you can see. I really do like these models. Additionally, we do have these three card Gigabyte, a Asus Dual, and of course the Red Dragon cards that every one I think likes. And then we have these Hellhound ones, which um, the box was kind of, you know, not so nice. And it kind of feels a little cheap, but in a weird way, I, I like it. It kind of reminds me of those Gigabyte Eagles, like an RTX 3060 Ti Eagle. Um, when those first came out, those also had, you know, just a single eight pin to power them. Um, they were very thin, almost exactly, you know, two slots, as you can see there. Um, they're just easy and simple cards. I mean, this is a low budget, um, you know, I mean, this is a, I wouldn't say low budget card for how much they cost, the 6600 XTs that is. But with these 70 to 72 watts that these things use, um, really any cooler is, I, I think, gonna do a decent job here. I know all of these have been running just fine. On here, we have the XFX, the Gigabytes, and the Red Dragons. And again, those are working just great. So i um, real happy with how those came out. But that said, uh, I am probably gonna split this video into two. I don't want you know to make these videos too long for you guys. And I also don't wanna cut everything too short for you guys. So um, I figured you know splitting it up would probably be the best way to do it. So that said, I'll get six of these installed on the bottom and I will be right back. All right, guys, we are back here. I have the five XFX um, 6600 XTs up, the single gigabyte on here. We do still have these two um, Power Color Hellhounds, uh, the Asus Duel, and the Red Devils. So each pair here, uh, I guess every two cards, is powered by a uh, single strand like this. I have a splitter um, going into this eight pin and a splitter going into this eight pin. And so there's two splitters um, coming off a single eight pin, which gives you four eight pins, which then uh, you have two powering each card, or no, you have, I'm, I'm sorry, you have one powering each card, so that's two, and then you have one powering each riser, that's another two. So one single strand can power uh, two cards and their risers. So we have three strands powering um, these six cards on the bottom row right here. This is the same way that we did this 6600 XT rig. And these things are hashing away, no problems at all on this one. I really haven't had many issues. I know uh, usually it's the Nvidia cards that don't give me you know, any issues, but I used to have so many problems with AMD cards and these have just been working great. So I'm extremely happy with these. Uh, low wattage, um, very cool or very cool and I mean they run very cool and I mean some of them look cool too you can't beat these these red devils they are so awesome but enough of that I am gonna uh, go ahead and cut the video there guys in the next video I'll get the other five up here um, I'm gonna call it a night it's getting a little late here at the bunker maybe I'll have the sixth one available for the top there we will see but uh, thanks again so much for watching guys we appreciate every subscriber every comment uh, we love this community and let us know what you guys think about these 6600 XTs are you guys trying to get get some of these are you guys still sticking with Nvidia we here at the bunker are starting to try to diversify that's why you saw the 6800 XT over on the shelf that's why you know we have the 3060 Ti LHRs there we have 3090s 6600 XTs, we have uh, 3070 Ti's. On these uh, holding rigs here, we have the 6600 non-XTs, we have a 3080 Ti, a um, 3080 LHR, and then two 3060. So we are uh, slowly expanding. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get another frame like this built tonight, I think. Um, I'll go ahead and put it down there. That will be for a 6600 rig. And I need to get another frame built for our uh, additional 3090 build and probably another frame built to transfer this one to a double stack. But that's gonna be everything for this video. Uh, thanks again so much guys and we will see you guys next time.